cultural competency has to begin with us as adults, who we are, where we came from. And the community has been open and warm and welcome, and we do appreciate that. And out of that, it grew into a summer book study. As we delved into our questions about how to connect community and school together, um, the book study really guided us to shift our thinking in different ways about uh, our own cultural competency in the classroom. It, it asked us to ask questions um, about our students and, and really it just overall shift our perspective. I think one of the things that this book study and going out to the community and talking with community members has done is kind of opened my perspective. I don't think a lot of these kids have ever been asked in school, what do you think? Why do you think that? What do you have to say? Um, and middle schoolers have a lot to say. And so just asking them constantly, like, why? What do you think? What can you relate this to? What we learn has really impacted the way that I go about teaching social studies. Now, instead of just teaching dates or trying to teach important people, we're really trying to focus on concepts, understanding why certain events have happened in history, but also being critical of the textbook. We see that the textbook is written from a per certain perspective. I think where we go next, one of the steps that we already have planned out is going back to some of the churches that we already visited and following up with them. Um, letting them know that what they said and what they've offered and the advice that they've given has been implemented in certain ways. It really starts with us and the conversations we have because we control the classroom and our attitudes are really going to affect what goes on in the classroom. So ha continue to have these conversations, continue to go out into the community. The change that's happened already in just a few short months um, has been amazing and we're just going to try to keep that work up.